Hello and welcome back. I'm Dr. Boyd, the chemist. Every day, millions of people eat rice using two chopsticks. But can you pick up rice with just one chopstick? Well, let's find out. Here's what you'll need. You'll need an empty bottle, a chopstick or a pencil that is long enough to stick all the way out of the bottle, and enough rice to fill the bottle to the top. A funnel is helpful too. Friction is a non-conservative, non-fundamental force that often goes unnoticed, but we rely on it all day, every day. In simple terms, friction is the force that opposes the movement of one object against another. Although friction is generally considered a weak force, if you build up enough of it, it can be surprisingly strong. Today, we're going to pour rice into a bottle and then we're gonna pack a chopstick in with the rice. Now, each grain of rice will contribute an individual friction force along the chopstick. Because there are hundreds of grains of rice, each contributing small friction forces, the overall friction force acting upon the chopstick is strong enough to prevent the chopstick from easily being pulled from the rice. Using the funnel, fill the container with rice. Force the chopstick all the way down to the bottom of the rice in the bottle. Now, it is very important that you tap the side of the container to pack the rice in nice and tight. Add more rice and continue tapping until the bottle is filled to the top. Now, with one hand, try to pull the chopstick out of the rice. If the rice is packed in nice and tight, you should be able to pick up the entire container. See, now you know how to pick up rice with a single chopstick. Now to remove the chopstick from the rice, you will need to pull on the chopstick with greater force than the friction the rice is providing. Make sure to hold the bottle firmly in place when attempting to remove the chopstick. Now, will this work if we use a straw instead of a chopstick? Or what if we replace the rice with popcorn kernels? Give it a try and leave me a comment. Let me know what happens. If you don't get it the first time, be patient and try it again until it works.